Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 37 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We are now going to talk about yet another topic called mutations. Now, what do we mean by mutations? So these are also changes which lead to variations in the next generation. Like till now, whatever we have studied, we saw that uh, recombination is one cause of variation. Recombination brings new stuff to the new generation. So mutation again is another thing which can cause variation in the next generation. So let us see what is mutation. So mutation is a process that brings about a change in the genetic material. Now when I say a change in the genetic material, first of all we should be clear about what is the genetic material. Now we all know that chromosomes can carry the genes and genes basically contain the genetic material. Right? So these yellow color structures are the genes. Now what are genes made up of? So if you look closely, genes in turn are made up of nucleic acids. So nucleic acids are the form of DNA. So this is how you see the two strands of DNA. And what do you have in DNA? DNA has something but you have some sequence of bases here. Something like this. Let us suppose a sequence of bases like this. Which actually keeps the strand intact. So it is a double helical structure. Now we will not get into the detail of structure of DNA. But this is how the different sequence of bases are arranged here. Now, when there is a, this sequence of bases actually gives instruction for synthesis of specific proteins and the kind of protein that gets synthesized, the structure of the protein determines the function of the protein and this in turn determines the particular trait. So this is how your uh, DNA actually control the traits or you can say this is how genes control the traits of an individual. So what happens is when there is a change in the genetic material, when we say change in the genetic material, there can be a change in the sequence of the uh, this, this sequence of bases in the nucleotide, there can be a change in the structure of the DNA, there can be a change in the structure of the chromosome. So there can be any changes with respect to the chromosome or the gene or the DNA. Now any such change will impact the protein synthesis, right? Let us suppose, I say that this portion of it, whatever sequence of protein and bases you have, this gives instruction to synthesize a particular protein which performs a specific function in your body. So in fact, let us suppose that protein will decide the color of your eye. Similarly, let us suppose if this portion of the DNA I mean, gives instructions for synthesis of a particular protein which is going to decide your hair color. So basically, if I alter the sequence of uh, bases here or if I altered now these genes are also located somewhere here so here also you have the helical structure somewhere here like this right so let us suppose if this um, sequence of bases which are responsible for hair color is located somewhere here in the say in the chromosome now if there occurs some change in the structure of the chromosome itself so what will happen this will impact the trait this will impact the hair color how by impacting the synthesis of the protein so this is how a change in genetic material can actually bring about changes in the next generation and this change in the genetic material is known as mutation so i hope you understand that mutation and recombination are totally two different things recombination is something which takes place whenever meiosis occurs. So there are chances that the homologous, the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes might exchange some of their parts. And that is how new combinations are formed. But in case of mutation, if there is some change which is taking place either in the gene or in the chromosome, then it can affect the trait. So this is known as mutation. Now when the DNA changes, the genotype changes, when the genotype changes, the phenotype also changes. So such changes are known as mutations. So as I said, this impacts, this is present inside the chromosome. Chromosome is present inside the cell and cell, our body is all made up of cells. Now the next question that strikes your mind is what is the cause of mutation? What causes this change in the genetic material? Because in this case we are not uh, trying to change the genetic material willingly. So what is actually making it to change or what is causing it to change? Now there can be several factors. There are a couple of external factors which are responsible for mutations. 
for example radiations chemicals or smoking so that is why it is often written everywhere wherever you get the cigarettes back that smoking is injurious to your health why is it injurious because when this cigarette when you smoke it off there are certain chemicals which are present in it which actually alters the uh, structure of your gene and the chromosome and that is how what happens is that your structure or the, there is a change in the structure of the genetic material and when that changes what happens unwanted growth of cells might take place in the body and this that is why often people say that smoking can cause cancer that's because when your genetic arrangement changes then that and that is the time when unwanted cell growth can take place in any part of your body and whenever you have unwanted uncontrolled growth of cells that, that can lead to cancer so some of these external conditions like radiations you can consider ultraviolet radiations or even the x-rays so some of these radiations are extremely harmful and they can be cause of mutations there are many internal factors as well it is not necessary that even if you keep yourself protected from smoking or chemicals or radiations there can be no mutations mutations can even happen due to internal factors for example DNA replication errors. Now, during the process of cell division, we saw that the DNA replicates itself to form the sister chromatids, right? Now, any process is not 100% error-free. So, even when the DNA duplicates, so the replication of DNA that might involve error. So, maybe the DNA gets copied with in a wrong way. Maybe one particular sequence of base, maybe instead of A, it became G. So, that for, I mean, to think it that means you might think that okay just A got changed to G but when A gets changed to G the entire sequence changes so maybe if X protein were to, was to be synthesized now due to that change of A into G some Y protein is getting synthesized so when a, a different protein is getting synthesized so obviously your trait is also becoming different so that means uh, when the DNA sequence changes, different proteins can be produced and this can be extremely harmful. So, this happens because sometimes it, it is a natural process. This, this kind of internal errors is actually a natural process. It happens whenever the DNA fails to copy correctly. Now, as I said, even because of these external factors also, sometimes what happens is due to the exposure of these chemicals or radiations, the DNA is broken down or there is some damage which is caused to the DNA. Now, the cell tries to repair it, but the repair is not always done in the perfect way. So, there is, there is some loophole which is there and that loophole is seen as a mutation or a change in the genetic material. So, this is how mutations can take place inside a inside an individual so as i said this is how when the dna duplicates there are chances that some sequence gets altered so here if you see if you look at the sequence if you look at the colors at least you will see that they are all the same but not everywhere so if you compare this portion what do you see so the hair it was pink now it is blue so it might seem that everything else is same just change in one particular sequence that it but it can have an adverse effect on the trait because it will affect the protein synthesis. Thank you. Please visit www.examclear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.